Violence in schools is always top of mind with shootings on the rise and threats forcing districts to close, sometimes for days at a time. There's also bullying, of course, both in person and online. Now, there's an effort in Macomb County to stop school violence with the return of a video contest. Yes, joining us now to talk about the 2024 Knocking Violence Out of My School video competition is Macomb County Prosecutor Pete Lacito. Thank you so much for being with us. Love to have you. I got to tell you, the competition last year was an eye opener for me because we've had the entire school districts, which is the second largest in the state of Michigan, um, and all the students came with their own creativity and their own idea and own identity. Some did video, some did music, some did a speech, some did just a talk one on one. But whatever it's going to take, because if parents aren't getting through to the students and the administration or school teachers, school teachers are there to teach, not to go ahead and have to deal with this kind of nonsense. Then let the students make their own message so that they get it clear, they get it concise, and they get it right so we stop the nonsense. So how did it come to be? And for our viewers who aren't familiar with it, what is the question given to students? What's the assignment, essentially? The, the assignment is this. We don't want any more threats. We don't want any more bullying. We don't want any more violence in the schools. We're closing them down. It's costing the taxpayers a lot of money. In fact, I'd like to see moms and dads, when a student goes off the, the tracks, pay for all the EMS as the fire and police and the barricades that have to be put up to stop this. And parents are responsible and liable to their child until the child's 18th birthday. So these acts that are occurring needs to stop, needs to be a lesson learned, because we have a no zero tolerance policy in every handbook across this state. And the zero tolerance is you could be thrown out of school, you could be limited in what opportunities you have as a result of a conviction as a juvenile. It could be financial aid, it could be getting into the military, it could be getting into school for college. So let's take a step back and say, what message do you need to tell the entire student body this will not be allowed anymore? Let's stop it. Let's try to get along. We don't need to threaten each other. We don't need to continue bullying each other. And we don't need to go ahead and make threats where it's closing our schools down and making us go a little longer during the summer because that's what they have to do to make up the calendar. Were there any surprises or what was your takeaway last year once you saw these videos? You know, what happens is we put these out in the schools for the parents and inside it gives them the intel about what it is that's going to happen to their student. But in addition, what I saw was they were starting to get across a message that I didn't even know, which is we have a class that is very talented. And they were talking about how talented. Use that talent in a positive direction so that we can make a real difference in the world because you are our future. And if you're not going to be our future, then who is? No. It seems like a good way for this generation specifically to get a message across. They're very familiar with creating videos and posting online. Uh, what kinds of things have you heard from students? Well, they like the money aspect because <laughs> yeah, the, we'll first, talk about that. the number one video <laughs> that wins, and it's all judged by our juvenile division. There's six individuals, our chief and five other attorneys so those that prosecute these cases are the judges. And what's happening here in Macomb County is the first place will receive $1,000, second, $750, third is $500. Non-taxpayers money. I know how important it is for a student to get an education. I know also by raising my children and everything else, but I also know that that disruption of taking away the student from the teacher or for that day means even worse because you're falling behind, you're not coming ahead. What is it that other students see in this? Camaraderie, competition. Most importantly, a message that would gel and be coherent to send to the entire student body. Yeah. All right, how can students apply if they want to take part? Well, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Today, um, you can go on to the prosecutor's website, which is prosecutor video competition at macombgov.org. In addition, you have till April 15th, that's Monday, April 15th, till 5 o'clock to submit what it is that you see as being necessary to win this competition. And the judging will take place, and the winners will be announced two weeks later 
on April 29th, 2024. All right, so plenty of time to put that together. Sounds yeah. like a great program. And it's a great program over the Thanksgiving and Christmas uh, holiday that the students have because that's when you can get the best work done. Yeah, perfect time to focus on it. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. And you sure. know, we also have information about the contest and links to all of that on CBSDetroit.com.